was to start off with an ego um, <laughs> to get to keep you going. By the end, you will have no ego. It will be totally crushed. <laughs> but sometimes it can be good to start off with a little bit of an ego just to just to get you through those first uh, <laughs> rejections. But eventually, you will be crushed. And but then you have to keep going without without the uh, the help of an ego. But I've always felt that as a creative person, as an artist, you can't have a thick skin. And as a writer, you can't have a thick skin because it's your job to experience life and to put that on the page. So I think you always have to have a poetic heart. And you can't have a poetic heart with thick skin. It just doesn't go together. So even though you can become a bit better at, 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 um, at sloughing it off because the, the, the bad reviews always hurt more than the good reviews help, in a sense, which is silly, but that's just kind of yeah. human nature. But um, I've never agreed with that thick skin persona, you know. And as a journalist, I should have ironclad skin. But it, you can't be a writer and be hidden behind armor. You just can't. You have to expose yourself. And so when you do that, you're going to be hurt. And you just have to learn how to, how to deal with that hurt. Right. But I don't think you grow thick skin. Yeah, no, I've, I've always found that most of the negative feedback comes from... Mostly, I've always said it's like if people picked up the wrong book, because you don't really get sort of critical analysis. I mean, you, when you're when you're going through the publishing stage and you have your editors and stuff like that, and um, and I think a lot of times what people think of as editors isn't really what what they do, because um, editors are tend to think people that point out sort of flaws in your book that they see that the, that you then fix. The editor doesn't actually, you know, sort of fix anything. You have to fix it. And so sometimes through that stage, when you've got someone who, A, is on your side because they want this book to be the best it can be, um, their criticism is always constructive. You know? uh, and so that's the stuff you really have to absorb. And it's somebody on your side that wants you to succeed. And they have um, criticism or they see faults in your book. Listen to them because they're your friend. But the people who attack your book um, in Amazon and things like that, those tend to be people who get upset by things that someone else loves. Um, so their criticism doesn't become valid, you know, and they're not necessarily trying to help you. They're trying to do something for themselves. They want to lash out at something. They had a lousy coffee in the morning and <laughs> they read your book and then, you know, like it, that, they're not necessarily helping you as a writer. You know, you all, but you always listen to those people who are on your side and what they see as the philosophy.